Hello friends, welcome. Today I am going to talk about the latest and greatest phone which is Motor Razer 5G which is a successor of Motor Razer. Let's get started. Before we jump in, I have a small request. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to comment. At the end of this video, I am going to tell on which technologies I am working on for my next videos. Also hit the bell icon so that you get the notification. You are watching Tech Look Around the World with KDR. Mostly I am going to talk about this phone in terms of outer components like uh, display, design and the camera. Also the inner components like uh, the processor, RAM, storage, battery etc. Let's jump in. Let me tell you something about this packaging. You are gonna love it because it's a premium looking package. Unlike a normal rectangle box, this package has ultra premium look. When you open it, inside you find one hexagonal package and when you open, all the flaps are going to fall out and you get to see a different cards on each flap telling you information or offers about this phone. Inside we have another box which will reveal the actual jewel which contains the phone and other stuff inside. I think lot of thinking has been invested in designing such premium looking box. In the triangle shaped box you get a turbo 15 watts charger, type C USB cable, type C 3.5 converter and there is no headphones included guys. This box can also be used as stand for the phone which is really cool and uh, many of the manufacturers should think about it. I love it guys really I love it definitely I would like to get my hands on to open such a premium looking box. If I get a chance definitely I will post in the comments. This phone is going to cost you around 1,24,999 rupees in India and you get around 10,000 rupees discount when you use it with a HDFC card and there are other offers also I did not check uh, that offers but please do go through in the Flipkart page also you get unlocked version in US and other regions for about uh, $1,199 so you can use it with any carrier links are there in the description please do check it out the stunning looks of this phone makes it an iconic piece. I'm sure of it. Definitely whoever sees it will like it. When you close the phone, you don't see any gap between the flaps or at the hinges. And at the same time when you open, the back side looks like this and uh, you don't feel any gaps. Thanks to plastic OLED display which makes this foldable phone crazy design possible. And if you are worrying about uh, too many flips might damage your phone then Motorola did a regression test in non-stop flips and they said 2 lakh flips guaranteed and if you open 100 times a day you will reach 2 lakh flips in 5 years. Even after 2 lakh flips phone continue to work. Maybe you can see some cosmetic de degradation after using such long period. I'm just curious about 100 times a day. So I tested with my phone with the help of an app on 3 days continuously and uh, these are my statistics. I almost reached around 80 to 95. It could be less or more for many of you so don't worry about the flips. And yes, you get a fingerprint scanner at the back of the panel on which a Motorola logo is printed and it is very easy to reach. Let's talk about the camera. It comes with a 48 megapixel camera with a laser technology and it has a lot of options and modes to play with it. You also get 20 megapixel selfie camera as well. I don't see much use of it except when you are using uh, it for a conference calls or video calls because the primary camera can be used as a selfie camera too when you fold the phone because of the external display. Speaking of display, 
This phone comes with one small external display and it is a glass OLED with a resolution of 800 by 600p. With this display, you can do most of the tasks like uh, checking your messages, opening apps, etc. Even when you are driving, you get to see the navigation instructions on this small display, which is very useful. When you flip the phone, then you get a better screen, which is a HD plus plastic OLED display with a resolution of uh, 2142 by 876p and gives you a cinematic aspect ratio of 21 is to 9 and I forgot to tell you about the external display aspect ratio which is a standard 4 is to 3. Because of the cinematic vision aspect ratio on the main display you might see some black bars at the sides but you can expand the display to get the full screen view as well. When you are folding the phone, you can observe the display is actually going inside the phone. I think this phone is not going to offer you a water resistance, so be careful with the water. The touch response of this phone is very good and uh, you will definitely enjoy playing the games etc. Right now, this phone available only in one color which is a polished graphite and in future you get to see some more colors. The body is a combination of aluminum and gorilla glass. If you are looking for the covers for this phone then the design might look like this. Coming to the processor, it has powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor which supports a 5G network with a clock speed of 2.4 GHz and Adreno 625 GPU. This phone has a Android 10 OS. It offers you 8 GB of RAM and 250 GB of storage capacity. Though this phone comes with a single SIM card tray, but actually it supports a dual SIM. So the other SIM will be eSIM card. Please note that. That being said, I want to give you my thoughts on this phone. This phone definitely has a wow factor because of this iconic design and the components and uh, also I would like to give my my thoughts about uh, cons again it's purely my opinion most of the people might think that it's not at all a cons but let me give you the first one is the camera with the money that we are spending we are getting only one camera, that 48 megapixel camera is still a good camera. But uh, even a small budget phones these days are coming up with a dual camera, triple camera, quad camera and uh, what not, wide angle camera, zoom camera etc. But this one has only one camera and uh, somewhere in my heart I am not satisfied. Again this is my opinion, most of the people think it's okay. The second one is it is going to come with a 2800 mAh battery and uh, I think it is sufficient for the plastic OLED display uh, maybe it will consume less energy but uh, somehow I feel that it should come with uh, around 3500 to 4500 mAh that would be a better bet. And the final one, it is missing wireless charging here. Um, remember I told you in the beginning that the box can be used as a stand. If a wireless charging has been incorporated in that box, then this would have been in the next level. That being said, I'm signing off. Don't forget to watch my next videos which is on Google Pixel 4a 5G and I'm also working on the smartwatches. Don't miss those. Till then, stay safe with mask.